The problem is today, and I believe this, I believe that we're outnumbered now. I don't believe. We're not. Uh, we're I know not. you say that, and I knew we're you were going to get mad at me. It. I and knew it. We're not outnumbered. We are not outnumbered. You look. At you know what? Polls. I got You know what? Every... Am... Look. Here's right. the thing. You, Ed, Ed, you give me a month to prove this. I am going to find a way to prove this to you. I, I, I you know what, Stu? I'm going to, I'm going to give you. Ed, you hang on the phone. I want to get a phone number from you. Yep. Okay. Yeah, thank you for calling. And Ed, you are the probably you could be the most important caller that I have ever received in my career because you may have changed and finally given me the impetus to actually find the way to prove it to you. So hang on just a second, Ed. Get his phone number, Dan. Make sure we know how to get away, uh, get, get a hold of him six ways to Sunday. Here's the thing. Most Americans feel this way. And I've been saying to you for the last couple of weeks it's 15%, maybe 20% on each side. That it's, that's, let's just be crazy and say there's 20% of the people that doesn't, it doesn't matter what the Republicans do. They'll just vote for a Republican. And it, it, it just doesn't matter. They will vote for a Republican. And there's maybe 20% on the other side that will just vote for a Democrat. And it doesn't matter. They're not, they're not tethered to any principles whatsoever. That leaves 60% of us that are. We are in the whole spectrum. There are people that vehemently disagree with me, but they are tethered to principles. Did did anybody see the TV show last night? I actually have respect. I can't believe I'm saying this. For Dennis Kucinich. Dennis Kucinich was on last night, and I'm like, I don't want to have Dennis Kucinich on. I mean, it's just going to be a yelling war. He's just going to be... That's not what it was. In fact, it was very entertaining. It was actually very funny in a strange sort of way. And I said to him halfway, look, Dennis, I disagree with you 110%. But at least you actually believe in something. And let me tell you something. The majority of people do. They just don't know how to express it. They just haven't done the hard work of thinking it all the way through because everybody has made life too complex. Everybody's telling them you don't matter. You don't count. It doesn't make a difference what you say. You'll never understand it. Don't worry. We'll take care of it. Most people have just, they're tired. They're tired. They're tired of fighting for what they, why are you so pissed at the Republicans? Seriously, why are you so pissed? May I vocalize what I think you're thinking right now? Think about it. Why are you pissed? I mean, not just disappointed, pissed. I believe what you're thinking right now is the same thing, reason why I'm pissed. Because I invested a lot of my time and my energy I, I never went campaigning for anybody. I never, I never put campaign signs out. I never made calls for anybody. But I defended these people. I, I, I would be at parties with, with people, and people would come up and say, oh, your guy is this, blah, 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 blah. And I'd defend them. I stood up for them when it wasn't easy to stand up. We, many of us have been the pariahs of society, be calling racist, bigot, and everything else. And you do this? You have taken my time, my energy, my passion, the, 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 the essence of who I am and what I believe in, and you've done this? That's why I'm so pissed. How dare you? I believe in something. You don't. My gosh. You want to talk about... You want to talk about election rape. There it is. I think many of us feel as though we have been raped. Our time has been raped. Our values have been raped. We have been in bed with a a serial rapist. He'll sleep with anybody. Just for what satisfies him. That's why I'm angry. But see, there are more of us, and there will soon be many Democrats, if they are honest. 
if they really truly believe in if and here's here's who you're not surrounded by or here's who you're not feeling and you're not realizing is standing by you that you are surrounded by anyone who actually listened to their grandparents anybody who actually listened to their grandparents knows what this country is knows who we are as americans wants deep inside of themselves, wants that to be true again. Why did we vote for change? We went like zombies to somebody saying change who didn't really define it because we know what that vision of America is. It's not socialist. It's an America that is good, is kind, is fair, is gentle. That's what we all learned from our grandparents. The same grandparents that stood up against socialism, who stood up against communism, who fought it, who did far more than we will ever be asked to do, unless we don't stand up now. If you don't, if you unplug, if you don't stand up, If you don't square your shoulders and say, damn it, I got to do it again. Do you think I really want to do this? Do you think I want to be this guy? Do you think I want to be the guy who was called crazy for two years, was told by almost every damn program director in my chain, shut up or we're going to cancel the show? Do you think I want to be the guy that watched my ratings go down for two years? Because of what I was saying was coming in the perfect storm. Do you think I want to be the guy who gets calls from people in this industry that I respect? Really, truly respect and say, Glenn, you're killing yourself. What are you doing? Stop doing this. Do you think I want to do that? Do you think I get up every morning and say, gee, another fun day at the factory? You think you've had enough of looking at it? Try doing it for your freaking job. So why do I do it? It's the same reason why I now do not say to a serviceman when I say thank you for your service and they look me in the eye and say thank you for yours. I used to always say, no, I have not served. You know what? This is my service. It is time for you to serve without a uniform. You are the protector of liberty. You are the protector of freedom. It is on your shoulders, not the military. It is on your shoulders. This is your country, damn it. This is my country. And it will stand for me to pass it on in a better condition to my children. I know it's hard. I know You're tired, but I will prove it to you. You give me a couple of weeks and I will find a way to prove it to you that you are not alone, that there are more of us than them. You just don't hear from your kind of voice because nobody wants to give them any airtime because... You're ordinary. If you were alone, you would be heard because you'd be unique. You'd stand out. Nobody covers your story of being alone because you're ordinary. I know that's not evidence enough, but it's true.